and we're back. For you, no time has passed. For me, about three seconds has passed. So we're going to make that boat and head in the correct direction. Seems like I have mouse issues every time I start recording. I wonder what that is. It just, it doesn't take somehow. Oh well. Beautiful scenery. I, uh, I have so many good plans for this world. Uh, but you'll see once I get there what one of my plans is going to be. Is this where we land or can I skirt around this as an island? Is this a peninsula? Let us see. I think, I think I can squeeze through right there. Boat. Boat, don't break. Don't, no, 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 no. No, there, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, let's go this way. Um, negative 1400 towards negative X. That is actually incredibly useful to put that on the F3. So we might be spending another night. And we will be spending it out on the water. Although this is not a very long stretch of water. So we'll be getting there pretty quickly. Kind of nice to uh, ride off into the sunset. I don't know if uh, you watch uh, the UHC uh, produced by the uh, the Minecraft community. Oh, here we are, and here is one of the other biomes that we are looking for, which is the mushroom biome. All right, I'm just going to crash the boat. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, boats. Mm-hmm. Boats are weird. Boats are very weird. I could not recommend anyone use them for travel at the moment because they're just kind of broken right now. Um, uh, poor Doc, he just uh, he just had the big flood, and congratulations, Doc, on the uh, the big flood. Uh, but he was uh, trying to uh, navigate by boats, and his boats kept doing exactly what they're doing for me, which is uh, breaking and everything. It's just, are you even here? Can I break you? I don't know. I don't know. The ghosts are like, I'm sorry, boats are like ghosts right now, which is pretty annoying, pretty crazy. But, uh, Mushroom. Now, the actual biome name in the game is uh, Mushroom Island, and they're intended to be islands. But as it turns out, they can also be peninsulas, and this is a peninsula. So here's two of the three biomes. And I told you once I got here I was going to have plenty of food. Uh, it's because of all the mushrooms. I'm going to subsist on mushroom stew for a while. And that's actually a pretty good food source. Uh, it's not too hard to, uh, to make it or anything like that. And uh, they changed the crafting recipe a while back. This is actually something I uh, mentioned. I, I had read it in one of the updates mentioned to Mindfiend. I was talking about him in my previous video. Pretty big influence on me as an, uh, an LPer. And uh, he did not know they had changed the crafting recipe, so you could actually craft the uh, mushroom stew in your 2x2 uh, two two crafting grid. And I think this is it, people. Here is biome number three. You can see a little bit of it over there on the right. And here she comes, as I get a little bit closer. That's right, we've got a mesa here. So three biomes come together. Mesa biome, which is absolutely fantastic. I know everyone else has been just ooing and eyeing over this new biome, and it really is gorgeous. But then look right here. I get mesa biome, mushroom, and a birch forest. It's just absolutely gorgeous right here. I absolutely love it. Very pleased with it. Very, very pleased with it. Now, I'm going to uh, just knock off the top of this really just so that it's a little bit easier navigation. This this will be my probably my, my temporary home as this island because it's fairly easily defensible from the, uh, uh, the skeletons and whatnot. What is our... Where's the sun at? There it is. 
It's going down in that direction. No, it's going up. So we're eh, we're we're mid morning. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some uh, some wood. And uh, y you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm closer. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some wood. I've got my bed on me. I can sleep anywhere. And then we're gonna go jump on top of that mesa. And uh, then I probably am going to cut the video. I'm going to put up a big signboard of all the things I, I want to accomplish in this LP. And there's a lot of them. My last uh, uh, Minecraft world, I, I pretty well did just about everything. There's a few things I have not done yet. I've not fought a wither. I don't think ever, not even in creative. Uh, I have not fought the... Uh, Ender Dragon. Uh, although I have fought him in uh, uh, creative, I did spawn an Ender Dragon there. That was a lot of fun. I uh, spawned a few of them, in fact. And so those are those are things that are going to be goals of mine. But uh, I also particularly want well to get to the Wither. Uh, you know all the things that you have to do to get there. I'm going to. Uh, try and build a uh, a wither skull farm, and uh, I've actually built one before. Those are pretty hefty builds. I uh, used up all of my iron resources, and uh, I actually built a slime farm because I didn't have enough slime balls. Just uh, those are massive, massive things to build. Um, and I like to replant. I might build a, uh, a a tree farm, or I might just come over here and uh, cut these things down and replant them constantly. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, oh, there's there's a few saplings. I definitely want to collect some saplings, nonetheless. And if I'm going to make some signs, I'm going to need a bit of lumber. I'm going to need it anyway. So uh, I might as well just stick around here and do a little harvesting of resources. Uh, but uh, we're going to go over to that mesa and uh, make, a, make a nice little bulletin board, as it were, of all the things I'm going to accomplish. Uh, Wither Skeleton Farm is definitely one of them. Because of the iron requirements, I'm, I'm going to make uh, one of those iron golem farms. I've never made one of those before, so that'll be interesting. And uh, uh, there's uh, uh, the the wiki says that uh, you can find spawners in uh, Mushroom Island biomes. Well, well, for those of you that have never messed with one of these, the, the, the cool thing about them is that regular mobs do not spawn. They will not spawn in a mushroom biome. And the biome ID is a, a y-axis, so it's a vertical you know, it's a vertical chunk. So right there where the, the purple is, those would be mushroom um, uh, biomes, and then the green would be the, the birch forest. So no hostile mobs will spawn, excuse me, I should have said hostile mobs, no hostile mobs will spawn over there. But they will uh, spawn um, the, the little, uh, spawning dungeons, and hostile mobs will spawn from there. So it's just going to be interesting uh, when I do some caving underneath there. Uh, because hostile mobs can't spawn there, it means they all spawn over, say, here. And so I'm very likely to be uh, just inundated with hostile mobs, like, constantly, whenever I cross the border during my caving. So it's going to be uh, a bit hairy, I think, to do some caving. Should be pretty exciting to watch. Uh, my goals, uh, yeah, I mean, nobody ever has the goal of killing themselves or dying. So you know, I don't want to die, obviously. And I'm going to uh, uh, try and uh, not to die. You know what, I might act actually add a, an extra, uh, you know, a, few, a few more trees. Uh, up here. Anyway, uh, but pretty much if there is a a, uh, a a redstone contraption to build that is not just one of those absolutely insanely enormous builds, 
uh, then I have likely either built it or I'm, I'm considering it for my uh, LP at some point because I enjoy those little things. Uh, but my my uh, my channel uh, let's see channel motto is the term. Uh, I you know, a lot of people they 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 either don't have a little motto to go by or something or it's something sort of generic like I play games and Minecraft and uh, mine is a little more you know on purpose. It's it's uh, play smart not hard. And when I've played Minecraft, and I've been playing for three years, I have learned a few things about you know, what I like and what I enjoy. And seeing those gigantic builds is nice, but this is a single player world. I have a limited amount of time in the game, as someone very wisely once said. The world is effectively infinite. It's not really infinite, but you'll never get to the end of it. Uh, unless you're Kurt J. Mack and you just start walking, and even then it will likely take you years. So there's really kind of no point to uh, you know to to focus on the resources. Time is your biggest limiter, and so I, I want to be able to enjoy this world, and that means building things that are the appropriate size. I mean, I, I can build a, you know, a watermelon farm that produces 14,986 uh, melon slices every uh, 17 minutes, but I, I don't want to do that. Uh, other people, they can do that, and it is pretty awesome to see, but that's just not me. I would much rather have a smaller melon farm that is enough for me to have melons. And let's face it, there's only one role used for melons, and that's in potions. So I'm not likely to make a very large melon farm, unless I just wanted to. They are actually pr fairly easy to make. Um, is it getting dark yet? I was going to. I was thinking I would I would uh, get lumber today, and then uh, about dark I would head over to uh, the mesa biome. It looks like. Yep, yep, it's time. So I'm going to play smart, not hard. My builds will be kind of uh, uh, not exactly in moderation. I am going to make some big builds, but I'm not going to make builds that are more than I can handle in a single player world because there's just really no point in something like that. All right, and this is as good a place as any. Let's get rid of the monsters for tonight. I won't always do this, but uh, right now I'm uh, quite frankly, very fragile. I have no armor. I have no anything. Um, I don't even have my stuff in a chest, and if I die, I'm going to spawn way back somewhere. And I just, oop, I just don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, it's just not good video either, for that matter. Having to walk the same way a second time. But check out the Mesa biome. It is gorgeous. Uh, now, I used a little program called uh, Amidst. A lot of people know about it. I used it to find this uh, particular seed. I'm not going to tell you what the seed is. I don't want any spoilers in the comments. Um, another thing that MindFiend taught me, uh, in fact. But uh, this uh, biome is just absolutely gorgeous. I know that the Mesa biome extends further to the west and that the uh, that the uh, the warm biomes are in that direction, uh, so I know there's more mesa over over that way. Uh, what is that? Uh, the, towards the west. Um, and uh, let me grab this on my way. Um, I think uh, who was I watching? Was it um, was it Kurt? Seems like it was Kurt. And he was in a, um, he was walking through the Mesa biome uh, on uh, the Minecraft uh, server, and and he was saying, hey, that the uh, uh, the cacti kind of don't fit on this uh, red sand, and you know he, you know I I, I kind of I kind of agree with him that that's maybe something that should be adjusted. Uh, they've they've made it where. Uh, uh, sugarcane 
uh, changes color depending on the biome. It makes sense that cacti would be a different color here. Personally, I think maybe more of a little, an olive color, drab, drab green, green mixed with yellow, something. Uh, I think it's chartreuse, chartreusey would be be good. Um, and uh, and then it won't be quite such a harsh contrast between the green and the uh, the red sand down there. Uh, but but there it is. Oh yeah, one one other uh, little thing I noticed. There's only one layer of red sand. Everything underneath it is uh, uh, hardened clay blocks. I would have liked a few layers of red sand and then the hardened clay blocks, just like in a desert. Because if you remove one of the uh, red sand underneath, is the red use the uh, the orange clay, and so you you can't you can't like you know trim off the top and collect some red sand and uh, there be red sand underneath. You, you can't maintain the uh, natural uh, look of the landscape. If you want to harvest red sand, you have to uh, uh, get it all, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, uh, here we are. This is one of my, my views here. I think my render did is on about 12, 12 chunks or so. Uh, so you can't quite see off into the distance, but it is a beautiful view. I'm going to build right there. Probably set up base camp on that island because it's the closest to the center, and that is going to be my house. I have some ideas. Uh, I saw on a server somewhere someone had made a, a an ethos-style mob, mob farm, um, and unless I find a skeleton spawner fairly quickly, I will make a mob farm. Um, but these people had hidden it as a tree, so I might actually make a big tree over there somewhere to hide a uh, a uh, a traditional uh, a mob farm, but mostly for uh, for bones, bone meal, and uh, and arrows. Uh, once I get a bow. Um, but this is going to be my home, and there is a witch, uh, witch uh, house, it uh, witch house, witch hut. Yeah, uh, it's that way, which I think is south, basically just south of here, about 800 blocks. Uh, there's a little bit of a swampland, which is where I'll be going to collect uh, uh, lily pads. I like lily pads for some of my builds. And this particular witch hut is sticking out into an ocean biome, so it's going to be really easy to make that into a high-performance witch farm fairly quickly. I've never made one of those witch farms before, but they are so incredibly useful. Oh, look, you can see more mesa in the distance. And in that direction, it's just it's a thousand blocks of mesa and more. So I'm also going to have to go find a desert probably in that direction. Um, because I don't want to spoil the landscape, and I'd like to play around and use some of the the glass, etc., the new colored glass. Um, oh, and enchanting has changed, and villager breeding has, ch or not the breeding, but the villagers have changed. So many good changes in this new update. I personally think the enchanting slash repairing is too overpowered. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's a work in progress. They can always change it. I like the idea of lapis having a use now. It makes sense that we use lapis to enchant our gear, and then the gear gets that bluish enchanted tinge. It, it just makes sense. It's a blue rock, and your gear turns blue. I like that. It's very, very smart. Uh, that's one of the, uh, the, the things about Minecraft. I just really, really love this game. Uh, the way they put the pieces together, the way they build, they take their time, they don't rush. So, uh, hats off to the developers uh, who are even permitting me to uh, to use the, the their gameplay footage, sound, etc. in an LP. Uh, so my hats off to uh, Minecraft. This is probably the best investment in terms of a game I have ever made. I have put more hours into this game than any other ever, uh, bar none. So uh, congratulations to uh, everyone who has the game. Uh, thank you to everyone who is watching. Remember to like if you enjoyed this content. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will catch you on the rebound in our next video. Take care.